On today's On the Edge with Econo, we're going to talk about research, sustainability, and the connection between both. My name is Eva Garcia. I work as a data scientist for Econo, and I have a PhD in machine learning. So, research. Why do we do research at Econo, and how do we do it? The reason is simple. We want to provide the best library possible for our customers, our users, and anyone who wants to use our tools. And for that, we need to have strong foundations that are based on many years of research for many different institutes. So whenever we decide what goes into the library, there are many iterations from our research team and with the pro together with the product team to decide, OK, this is the best algorithm for our needs right now. Once we have identified what is the best algorithm through all of these iterations, what we do is we design our own solution based on that. So we take the base and then we gather all our researchers in, in our team and we decide how can we make this solution more energy efficient? How can we reduce all those computations that will negatively impact our solution? So by that, we create a more energy efficient solution that is more sustainable, that takes less space and that is faster to run. Once that is done, we take that with our deployers, our deployment team, and then they, they develop all the code from scratch on our C or C++ library that will end up in the final SDK. So what are our principles when we design a research solution? Well, we want it to be sustainable. We want it to be fast. We want it to be able to run anywhere. And we want it aligned with our customers' needs. Our customers have big machines where they have already a lot of stuff running in them. So what we want is that our solution creates a positive impact, but it doesn't really affect the things that are running there. So in terms of, of research on our different layers, first we start with the data layer. In part, part of our library is how to deal with data, temporal data, non-temporal data. How can we make all those feature engineering techniques as easy as possible for the end user? We provide that with our first part of the library that is called primer. Then, after that, we provide a different set of algorithms. Our main, our main characteristic is that they have to be light because we want to be able to run them on any type of device. So not only we provide inference on the device, as many other companies do, but we actually provide on-device training so that the different customers can train and run their models on their device without the need to connect to any cloud and without the need to connect to the internet. And then final stage, deployment. We want our solutions to be able to be deployed anywhere. We have compiled our library for many different platforms and architectures, from an ARM M0 to a Raspberry Pi. So that is a little bit more or less how we do research at Econo. If you want to hear more about it, you can reach out to me at eva.econo.ai. Thank you so much for listening.